Hi guys. Today let's talk about few books which will be helpful to you in your MA Economics entrance preparation. I'll be telling you for each subject one book and one idea about what kind of topics you will have to prepare. One general thing is that for each subject, you will have to do <clears throat> at least one complete book. And when I say complete, I actually mean it. Basic five courses, they have to be done uh, very deeply. One that is micro, macro, math, stats, and econometrics. And you need to have a knowledge for Indian eco, international eco, and public finance, and some bit of economic history also. Right, Those are ancillary topics. And apart from that, five main topics are micro, macro, math, stats, econometrics. They have to be done very deeply in order to understand the subject, in order to clear this paper uh, easily. So let's look at a few books now. So let us look at the first book, which has to be done for micro. So this is one of the books, Alvarium. Um, I would want you to do this complete book. So you are given the contents. So starting from chapter two uh, till chapter nine, till, till chapter 10, definitely, you have intertemporal choice. You can also look over chapter 11 and chapter 12. And uh, ye bhi important hai, 14, 15, 16. Auctions, you can uh, probably do it for ISI if you want. Then from chapter 18 to 23 is perfect competition. And then your markets will start from chapter number 24 to 27. Again, very important chapters. 28 and 29 are game. Uh, behavioral economics, 30th chapter, you want to do it, you want, you can. Then chapter number 31, 32, 33 is uh, uh, general equilibrium and welfare economics, right? Externalities, again, has to be done. Just chapter number 35, if you want, you can leave. Chapter 36 and 37, again, they have to be done. So 37 has to be done, particularly for IIT JAM, for ISI also. Uh, and they can also ask in CUET, so public goods. Uh, 36 also is very important. So, and while you do these chapters, also look at the back questions. Although these are easy questions, but all of these questions, they have asked a particular point, right? So it should also be there in your notes. So whenever you make notes of uh, the chapter, you have to make the note of the entire chapter. So make this thing very clear in your head that this complete book has to be done, right? For micro. And please do just one book. Don't do so many books. You will not be able to complete the entire or uh, all the different books. Follow any one book. So you can follow probably Mike, uh, probably you can follow Varian or uh, you can also follow uh, Nicholson and Snyder, whichever book you want, but you should follow just one book. This is what I'm uh, asking you to do, right? Now let's look at the another book. This is one of the book which I recommend for macro, Oliver Blankard. Uh, I have fourth edition and whichever edition is there in the market, you can probably have that. And again, the complete book has to be done. But particularly chapters from uh, 3 till three till uh, 20, 21, definitely, they have to be done. right? So it has almost everything, starting from your ISLM, labor markets, and uh, Phillips curve, ADAS, <clears throat> open market, open economy, all of that till 21st chapter. Chapter number 22, 23, 24, I have seen they're asking a little, I mean, uh, they haven't asked much from this, uh, from these chapters, but you should also read this. So my suggestion to all of you is that for every subject, one complete book has to be done. There is no choice about it. Chalo hum, we, we may do one chapter from this book, other chapter from that book. It won't work. Complete book has to be done. Whichever book you follow, but do just one book and do it very thoroughly. That is the Let's look at the another book. Now, this is the book for maths, mathematical uh, methods for economics. Uh, that is mathematics for economic analysis, uh, Sedestian and Hammond. Again, uh, uh, 
when I say you have to do this book, what I actually mean is uh, complete book again. So don't start judging the book from first three, four chapters. So it will start taking its color from maybe eighth or ninth chapter onwards. But again, you can't miss anything. Surely what has to be done is, uh, uh, again, you know what? They are asking you linear programming even in CVT. They can ask you difference equations, differential equations also. So all of these topics have to be done. There is no choice about it. Surely what has to be done is that uh, in the chapters, they might have given, just say for example, some definition which they have given, right? So that definition should be there. If possible, you can also write the examples. Uh, if possible, you can also write the examples. And if there is any proof which they have done, that too definitely has to be done. In case if there is any proof which they have done, that too definitely which will have to be done. So you may or may not want to do the entire exercises, but surely all the uh, all the uh, definitions, all the proofs, they have to be done. Okay? And particularly your economic examples. For sure, you have to do that. Huh? So don't miss on any of these. And this entire book, there is no choice about it. Okay. Uh, and you know what? I mean, don't just think okay, uh, you might have done this in semester. So maybe, uh, maybe you can do some 10 years here and there. You just, this is not a university exam. So this is an entrance exam. You have to do things deeply and you have to understand it deeply to clear the paper. So don't just depend upon what has been done in semester. You have to do little more than that. So how do you do little more? You read the book properly. You understand the book properly. You write the definitions and you also write uh, the examples if you can. Right? That is minimal what is required. Right? Let's look at the end of the book. Now this is a huge book. Fundamentals of Mathematical Statistic, um, uh, S.C. Gupta and V.K. Kapoor. We guys cleared our, uh, uh, this thing, uh, entrance by doing this book. So we have always uh, uh, recommended this book. See, again, the topics, they have to be done completely. All of the topics. Now, this is not the book which is recommended for economics honors. So I have, as far as I remember, it is generally recommended for uh, uh, stats honors. So you do not have to do the exercises and even examples you don't have to do all, but the initial examples, easy examples for all topics have to be done, all topics of the book. So don't just have a choice. Okay, I'll do one topic and I won't do that topic. If there is one, any question which is completely going out of the tangent, right? So you might leave that. But every topic has to be done and easy examples have to be done for sure, right? For sure, all of these uh, examples have to be done. Don't have a choice in that. Don't, again, in case if you find some very lengthy question, or maybe very difficult question, you might leave that. But don't leave easy questions and don't leave any topic. It has to be there in your register. So when I say don't leave, what I'm assuming is that you're going to make notes for everything. right? Then only you will uh, make yourself understand that you have worked for this paper and you can clear this paper. right? Let's look at the end of the book. This is the book for econometrics, <clears throat> basic econometrics um, um, by Gujarati. Um, we have done this book when we were in D school, right? But uh, now even uh, the undergrad uh, students, they have to do this book. Now you don't have to do the complete book. If I ask you surely how much you have to do, you have to do surely till sixth chapter of this book for our purposes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And, uh, and if you do not want any problem or you want to uh, have a complete grip on the subject, then you definitely have to do till 12th chapter, till autocorrelation. But definitely till 6th chapter, simple linear regression has to be done from this book. Every example, every definition, anything which uh, uh, Gujarati might have written in, uh, in, in the form of uh, 
a proof that has to be done. Uh, any important formulas that has to be written. All the graphs have to be seen why he has written this. And wherever he has written anything in bold, that though definitely should be there in your registers. For sure. This much has to be done. Right? Let's look at the another book. Now, this is one book which I recommend for Indian economy. Uma Kapila. Now, this is, um, I mean, uh, there are, I think, two books which are coming uh, for Uma Kapila. One is the smaller one. And the another one is a bigger version. Maybe, I think, uh, 1100, 1200 pages book. Don't have to do that book. But this book has to be done. For sure. Now, we I'm not asking you to do a complete book. You know what? But you can actually read this book as, as a novel. right? I'm not expecting you that you will write all the important notes from this. If you can, very well do that. But otherwise, what is expected is that you will read maybe three, four sides of the book every day, just as uh, just as uh, as a novel. I'm not even asking you that you write anything initially. But if you have read this book, you have the entire technology of Indian economy. You have almost everything which is uh, required for the paper. It is there. But having said that, not all topics which is written in CUET paper and not all topics which is written, which are written in uh, uh, IIT Jam paper, they will be there in this book. But doing this book is going to help you a lot. Uh, I mean, there are other books also for Indian economy, for example, Ramesh Singh and all. You might want to do that book if you want to. But my recommendation is this. This is a standard text and uh, this will require uh, at least maybe two readings at least. Uh, so that, I mean, I just want you to have some idea of what went in the economy. Because in an Econa, you can't prepare it like this, that I will remember every data, every policy that is not possible. So you should have a fair idea of what, what is going on. And this is not a very book, very uh, big book also. Just some 500 sides are there. Uh, so if you just read three, four, three, four sides, you will be able to complete this book easily. This is another book also for Indian economy by Uma Kapila, ma'am. Um, um, but that's, that's a very big book. You do not have to do that. Right? There is another book. This is the book which is followed for international eco, right? Krugman, Oxwell. Now, we do not expect you to do the complete book. But at least all the important topics that much, you should have a fair idea. What deep mini jana, don't have to go very deep. But you should know, uh, for example, Ricardian model, comparative advantage, uh, your specific factors model. Then you have heckscher rollin theorem, the standard trade model, external economy. So have a fair idea of this. I'm not expecting you need to go very, very deep in this. I think probably till chapter 7th or definitely. You can also, might have to do chapter number 9 also, 9 and 10. But not complete book. Huh? And in even while making notes, make it like uh, very, very brief. Don't go in, in too much of detail for this. You will have to go in detail for micro, macro, math, stats, econometrics. But for Indian eco, international eco, public eco, you can have a fair knowledge, right? In order to clear the exam. Huh? There is the another book uh, on public finance by H.L. Bhatia. A very small part of public finance is being asked. You don't have to do the complete book, please. Huh? Just pick up what is very important uh, from our exam exam point of view and just do that. Don't start reading up the complete book for our exam. That is not required. If you start reading first and second chapter, that is meaningless for this. But just have a fair idea of, okay, what do you mean by maximum uh, principle of maximum social advantage? So if you can answer that thing, that's enough for us, uh, for our exams. Right. What are the effects of taxation? What is public debt? What is public expenditure? These what what questions, if you are able to answer fairly well, you are done with this. We do not expect you to go into too much of detail of the topics for our exam. Right. So if you are preparing for IES or UGC net, etc., I mean that's a different issue. But for this exam, I think that much is enough. Ah. So this is uh, these are the different set of books which if you do. 
uh, I think uh, this paper should not be very difficult. But the only thing is that if you do, you have to make notes for each and every book. And you have to do it very diligently and very patiently uh, without any hurry. So then it is easier.